sneak up this ladder. Ooh, that's loud. Is there any way to sneak? Nope. R2, what would that do? Oh, maybe I should have pressed it. Can I press it now? Contact! <laughs> All right. Uh, I was trying to loot, I remember, I was trying to loot him right there. I ended up picking him up. Uh, I think I was thinking of Assassin's Creed. Or, uh, even Far Cry 4, looting the bodies. I'm just still learning what all the controls do here. I see all these things pop up. There, I got one to stay up. I got the light. Yeah, playing with the light. <laughs> this game is really fun. Uh, I recommend it to, especially if you got PlayStation Plus right now, download it, give it a try. Uh, PlayStation Plus, it's, it's sometimes a hit and a miss, you know, every month, whether or not you get a good game. But they usually give you like three or four games sometimes on the PS4 because it's cross console. So, yeah, I recommend having PlayStation Plus multiplayer free games every month, almost $40 in free games every month. Even if they are indie games, you know, it's still addicting, it's crazy. Alright, so he just told me to bring up the target, which I think is this flashing little square area over here, yes. Hit X for marker. Marker placed. Marker placed. Oh, that lady. That lady's voice, I don't know if I said this earlier, she, it was coming out of my controller, so it sounded really faint. <laughs> this sounds a lot louder now in the recording. Alright, alright. Okay, so that must that's my map marker, that little square rotating around. Right, I hope this guy in the light doesn't see me. Should I wait? I don't know. Alright, this looks safe. At least for the moment. Contact me if you need advice. Uh, I never did contact him. I used to use the radio all the time on the PS1. I'd call in that girl in the colonel for questions. Take a good look at the enemy through your binoculars and you can mark him. Marked enemies can be sensed when nearby, even if there's a wall between you and them. That's probably the most addicting thing about Metal Gear Solid. Focus your attention. This helps you maintain situational awareness. Try it. Yes, situational awareness, everyone. Oh, so useful. Data. The map, objectives, the target's locations. It'll help a lot if you let it. I can't tell you how annoyed I get sometimes when people don't notice stuff. It's like I can walk, I can be doing stuff and walk right up to you, holding something in my hand, place it down next to you, and then you'll come up to me later and ask me where that is. And I said, I just handed it to you. I set it down next to you. And like they had no clue. I walk up to them. That's that's so annoying sometimes when people have a complete lack of situational awareness. It's like, come on, man. I was literally within three inches of you. If I was an assassin, you'd be dead. <laughs> you need to know what's going on around you, everybody. Uh, there's a great saying from a book, actually, that I like to quote a lot. It's, I can only know for fact what is happening around me in the moment of time. See? Just think about that. That's the only truth that you, sh that you know is what's happening around you right now. Uh, everything else is just just conversation. Oh, you got stuck in the light. <laughs> and if that's confusing, sorry. <laughs> that was a really deep statement by some guy in a book who, uh, what was his backstory? He got, like, shot in the head. That was what it was. He got shot in the head. And, uh, so yeah, everything is just. It's all situational awareness. He couldn't really remember stuff he did in, in like, you know, a couple hours ago. But he knows everything that's happening around him at that moment. It was one of those weird things where he he, he was like a professor. And there's like a political um, thing, the reason why he got shot. It's crazy. 
good book. But uh, and anyways, yeah, he was um, he would be able to do all of his science stuff, but he would like forget that he already did projects and whatnot. So it was all up to his lab assistants to help him progress, you know, further into his projects, or else he would just get stuck, you know, trying to do the same thing over and over again, even though he successfully did it. So yeah, and he said the only thing I can prove for certain and know for certain is what's happening around me right now. <laughs> so anything else, I'll just just conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah, great, great character in the book too. I'm a fan. I'm gonna go read those books again. You want to know what they are? A U.S. Marine. It's enough to make you forget you're technically in Cuba. They're books about colonizing Mars. It's called Red Mars. Green Mars and Blue Mars. Three book series. Really good book series. Definitely a good read. Especially if you like space stuff, uh, political stuff, and, you know, it's really written well. The guy, you know, did a lot of research and whatnot. He's got, like, a Romulan whatever writers for science, sci-fi. I don't know what the sci-fi award is right now off the top of my head. I said Romulan, oh, that's Star Trek. <laughs> Alright, I hope you all enjoyed my just, <laughs> just been talking. So yeah, let's focus on the game. I know it's, uh, I remember this. It tried being so sneaky. Uh, first time I got noticed. Hostile! Alright, let's get some action now. We need to stop crouching. Start running. Oh, bullets. So I think I released them. Yeah, I released them and then I hit them again. It was weird. I didn't know how to, like, knock them out. I think I was using them as a shield. Oh, that guy ran across the street. Or is he behind the hill now? <clears throat> Alright. That's funny, I just put my hand against the barbed wire like it was a wall. Alright, I gotta jump over this. I don't know why I dove right there. I think I was trying to press the button from another game. Let's get this guy. Oh, the cactuses blew up. Ah, uh, that's the prison. Okay, I remember that scene. That was right at the beginning. Nice. I made myself a little window in the cactus. Don't push yourself. Fall back to a safe position. Alright, fall back to a safe position. So I just started running right here. <laughs> oh, cactus! Ow, prickly. Running, 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 running. I tried climbing these walls right here, but I guess these walls are just too tall. And before I knew it, I outflanked the enemy. This road runs right back to the prison. I thought I was going on somewhere else. So yeah, that was perfectly planned. Perfectly planned, everyone. See, they were running after me. I just kept running. Look at these guys. The targets are in the old prison. CP, this is Zulu 4. The enemy got away. Starting a search now. Over. So I just must be like crossing into their radio frequency. That's why I can hear everything. But now they're commencing search. Alright, there's some prisoners. But which one is the one that I want? Sneak up on these guys. I gotta try. Oh yeah, I I remember. This is funny. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. 
Ah, I'm diving again. I don't know. <laughs> I know you're supposed to dive to like get out of people's line of sight real quick. All right, here's the moment. Here's the moment where I learn about all my equipment as I start hitting buttons. Night vision goggles. Didn't know I had those on me. <laughs> and grenades. Ooh, hand grenade. Let's see if I can just toss it right over the rock right here. Back up. Heard the explosion. Yep, yep. You're never gonna find me. Let's see. Oh yeah, that stupid light. It's got me pinned down over here. See, every time I stand up, I get that whole light flare going on. Uh, right here, this, this is where I noticed that the slope goes all the way down. Yeah, totally level design. All right, got my pistol, my silent pistol. Oh yeah, there's a guy right there. Oh shoot, I wonder if I only knocked out one of them. Right, let's see if I could just peek over this rocky here. Long range headshot. New record. Now this guy just totally snuck up on me. Not sure why that wasn't a headshot. I think I might have shot him in the neck. Oh yeah, this guy, because I marked him, the guy in the light tower, he's actually like blinding me right now and trying to flank me. But because I marked him, I can totally see that he climbed down the ladder and he's going around. So let's just take care of this guy real quick. In fact, this is getting kind of long. I think I'm... Oh yeah, I'm pushing like 29 minutes or something. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna cut this right before I find Chico, because it takes me a while to find him. Ah, was... uh, he noticed one of his fallen comrades. Okay. Uh, and I found out that if uh, you don't shoot him in the head <laughs> with the tranquilizer, it takes a few rounds to put him down. <laughs> it's like trying to trank a T-Rex. Alright, how do I get in this place? Can I just climb over the barbed wire? No? How, how did I get in? Oh, I climbed on the roof and dropped out. Okay. Alright. So Chico's around here somewhere. I, but uh, yeah, I'm going to cut it right before it goes into the video for Chico. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to just run around for a sec opening up these cages trying to find Chico here. I don't know why I couldn't find him quick enough. It's another prisoner. I don't know, I think I, I started like, maybe I just unlock all of them and then they'll start a prison riot or something. Anyways, yeah, th thanks for watching everybody. Uh, until next time. Uh, this is the first guy I unlocked. Come on, Jesse, find him already. <laughs> Get me out of this place. There's nobody even in this cage. What are you doing? Alright, later everybody. This is where I find them. Alright.